Just talk about, man, the I asked Coach here a while ago the strides he felt you'd made since last spring, you know. You talk about this. You've been here for a season. You watched those three linebackers. Just talk about the strides you've made, in your opinion. In my opinion, I feel like I made some great strides uh, with the help of Grant, Hayden, and Bump. Uh, last year, I learned a lot just by sitting and just watching, watching them maneuver, watching them talk, make checks and stuff like that. So I feel like I made a great stride from – uh, last year and this spring and going into this fall camp. So I feel like I've been doing great. Drew, coming off the edge, now moving inside. Um, Mike talked about that. Michael talked about that. Well, go just talk about is it how big adjustment is that? And how, are you, how, do, how comfortable you are right now with moving inside and everything? I mean, I would say it's a pretty big adjustment because, you know, on the edge, you know, have to either – Worried about half the field when you're back. You're worried about the whole field. I mean, you got you got a lot more keys to read, you know. Um, but uh, other than that, I, right now I feel pretty comfortable. I mean, uh, Coach Shear and you know, Pooh and Bump have done a great job of you know helping me like you know learn my keys and just be more comfortable. You guys think about just for both of you, uh, Jordan Crook and Manny Powell, Caden Henley, those three guys. How, how have they progressed so far? Those three guys have made great progression, especially uh. uh with it coming onto the field. You know, they picked up on things pretty well. Uh, we helped them out as soon as they got here. You know, they did not take a step back. From day one, they've been on They've been on a high standard and they've maintained a high standard. So I think they've been doing pretty good. Yeah, I mean, um, they, they've definitely uh, taken a, a, a big step forward and pro progressing. I mean, everyone in the whole room has gotten, you know, better together and uh, we just like do a great job of it, you know, teaching each other and they're just pushing each other in the room. Just on Crook specifically, it looks like he's maybe working a little bit higher up on the on the depth chart. Um, what, what What is something about him, I guess, that stands out, you know, just being a true freshman and it sounds like a guy that could help you all this year? Crook's ego is just something that's contagious. You know, he's a high energy player. Uh, you know, he picks up all the other teammates, uh, older too. So, you know, he's just a great example of what you can do when you first get here. Uh, he reminds me of a little bit of myself. I came in, you know, a little confident as he was. You know, I didn't. It took me a little longer to learn the things, the concept and stuff like as, as long as he did. But you know, he he's been a great adjustment to the linebacker room. Yeah, you know, just the yeah, like he said, just the energy he plays with. I mean, he just uh, you know uh, really uh, comes with uh, the attitude you expect from a linebacker, and he just you know applies it to the field and does a great job of doing what he does. Uh, Mark Shear was here saying that. Bumper stayed mad at him all last year. Did, did you see that going on? I mean, what, what was Bumper's attitude? Uh, you know, Coach Shear is uh, – he's a hard coach on you. He, he's going he's gonna to coach you hard, you know. But that's the type of coach that everybody wants. You know, he wants somebody that's going to tell you the truth. He's not going to sugarcoat things like that. So, it's going to be times that players are going to get upset with Coach. But he just wants the best out of us. So, you know, as far as, you know, getting mad and things like that, it was a couple times. But there has never been a time where they just, you know, fill out with each other, stop talking anything. It's always been a love. It's like a mutual feeling between the two. Like, you know, uh, Bump has always been grateful for Coach Shear and the uh, coaching points that he gave him because Coach Shear puts us in the best position possible to make plays. So I feel like, you know, they have a great bond with each other. Okay. And, and Drew, Coach Shear has told us that uh, he, one of his uh, deals with you is convincing you how good you can be. Is that something that you talk about with, with him? I mean, uh, not, I mean, it's not really something we talk about, but um, he just does a, a good job, you know, like showing me what to do and how I can use my abilities to uh, uh, get the job done. Manny Powell was here during the spring, but now he's actually getting ready, getting to go out on the field and practice. What have been y'all's impressions of him now that he's, you know, putting on pads and going through practice? Manny's have been doing a great job of just staying focused and staying on the track. You know, he, he uh, picking up on the defensive schemes, you know, everything. He, coach asks him questions every day, and he gets them right every time, you know. So he's been doing a great job just sitting, listening, and being patient for his turn. So I feel like he's doing great. Yeah, I mean, he did have to miss out, you know, on the spring a little bit, but um, he's, he's picked it up pretty fast, and uh, he's uh, just doing a great job of uh, learning and absorbing uh, all the information, you know, all the coaches and players around him are giving him. Chris, I think Michael, when he said Bumper was mad at him, he meant because he wasn't starting him because he'd started the last three years. He was obviously playing as much as the other guys, but he wasn't starting him. Did did you get a good sense that Bumper had a – even if obviously he wanted to start, everybody wants to start, but that he kept an unselfish attitude about it? 
Yeah, Bump is not a selfish person. Bump is actually a person who puts others first. So I feel like Bump, you know, with the playing time that he did have, he did great with it. He took advantage of his opportunity. So I would never say uh, Bump was just overly mad at Coach Shear. No, that that's not that's not true. You know, they have a great bond, like I said. So you know, he just adjusted well to the coaching points that he gave him, and last year stats proved that. It used to be guys would get blocked from transferring within the conference. There was like rules against, and they'd have to sit out and couldn't be on scholarship. But now there's a lot of free flowing. You know, SEC guys go to other SEC schools and you know go back and forth. Um, was it important to you to go to an SEC school? Uh, who else did you consider, and just how how glad are you that it's it's you know free flowing now in the portal now, and you can do what you want to do, go where you want to go. I mean, yeah, a big thing for me was uh, trying to stay in the SEC, but you know, uh, it was between staying in the SEC, I wanted to be closer to home too. So you know, Oklahoma and Texas were like the other ones we were really looking at, but uh, um, it just you know, there's a big sense of pride with playing in the SEC, and I just still you know wanted to be a part of that. Today at practice. And so I, I couldn't tell if Bumper was giving you pointers or if you guys were just talking, but just what have you learned from him since you've gotten here? You know, he's a veteran guy, and is he kind of like taking you under his wing and giving you pointers at practice? I mean, yeah, ever since I got here, he's done, you know, he's done a great job, you know, uh, helping me and just, uh, you know, at, like you, you saw us talking. I mean, every time we get off the field, we talk about what might have happened, like what might have went wrong and how we could fix it, how it could be better, and then we're always just, you know, just trying to figure out ways to you know, help each other. Chris, Along the same lines of that, unlike last year when Grant, Hayden, and Bumper were here, now it's like Bumper and then younger guys like y'all selves. But it, what is it like to have him, and how, how has he been a leader for the linebacker room? Bump is an excellent leader. It's never a time that I can't just ask Bump about a scheme or just sit down watching film and things like that. Bump helped me a lot last year. He still helped me this year, you know, understand more about what the defense is trying to do. So uh, there's been times that me and him just stood on the sidelines and he's telling me, like, hey, you got that gap on this play or you got to guard this man right here or, or just here, line up here. It'll be easier for you to guard your man if he goes this way or not, whatnot. So Bump has been a great, you know, a great leader in that room. You see Bumper standing over and he still makes 100 tackles, over 100 tackles. He doesn't start. Does that make it easier? If you don't start, you know that you still can get a lot of playing time in this defense if you don't start? Absolutely. Bump taught me that if you take advantage of your opportunities, great will come will uh, be the outcome. So, you know, just watching him, like I said last year, with the stats that he had, even though he didn't start and he still had over 100 plus tackles, it just proved to me that if you take advantage of the opportunities that's in front of you, the uh, outcome will be great. When you were being recruited by OU, Texas, and Arkansas, and you looked at the three linebackers over 100 tackles each. How how big an impact for that was that for you? I'm trying to say. I mean, yeah, just the um, how productive this room was, especially you know in the SEC, being the top leaders is obviously something that was uh, pretty pretty attractive and something that you wanted to be a part of. You guys on Wednesday, I guess you guys were like blitzing and the running backs were uh, pass protecting and stuff. Um, Rocket looked like he was doing pretty good. I was wondering if you guys could tell us a little bit about, um, you know, just how those guys are doing on the running backs and uh, and also DeBinion being a freshman, you know, still learning that, like um, what could he get better at? The running backs are, you know, progressing every day. They're great pass blockers. Like Coach Fitman said, if you can't pass block, you can't play here. So they take that into great consideration. They've been working hard on it. Uh, we've seen tremendous, you know, progression out of them. Dubin, you know, he's young. You know, you expect young guys to not be as good as, you know, a veteran. That's why people like Rocket and, you know, people like that take him under their wings and just guide him into the great player that he can be. Specifically, I saw you guys had some good battles. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, he's he's, you know, been been great at what he does, and he keeps get, keeps improving. I mean, not just the running backs, but the the team as a whole, and you know, every aspect. I feel like we've been getting better and better, uh, farther along we go along camp and stuff. Three quick questions: right, Who's the fastest linebacker? I don't know. <laughs> Forty yard dash. Who wins? Out of all y'all. Uh, we have to line it up and see. So, yeah, we'll have to line it up. you know, no answers. Okay. What about strongest? That's, that's something that's measurable in the weight room. Who's strongest linebacker? Mm, we all about the same. Yeah. I don't know. We all work at the same speed. So. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Biggest hitter. 
We'll have to see. <laughs> Search on that, I guess. Um, hey, for both you guys, you know, Michael, it's not that long ago he was playing in the SEC for, for Mizzou. Um, what's he like as a coach, and do you still feel like he's got, I don't know, youthful enthusiasm, or do you get a sense it hadn't been that long since he played? How, how does he relate to you guys at, at his age? Coach Shear is a high, energetic guy. You know, I love him to death. You know, uh, with him playing in the ACC, you know, he played under Coach Odom at Mizzou, so he teaches us the schemes. He played with uh, Coach Odom there, and uh, so he teaches us the scheme. He has a better in-depth of what's going on because he actually played there, played in it. So uh, just having a coach that actually played in the scheme is is a huge advantage because, you know, he actually knows how to maneuver in that scheme, uh, what tricks and tactics would be best to help, you know, linebacker make plays. So. Coach Shear is a great guy, great coach. I mean, yeah, just like he said, you know, um, not just coaching in it, but being able to play in it. You know, you you, you learn you learn a little bit more. Uh, he has a you know, kind of a bigger understanding just from playing in it, and it, uh, it's he's able to like you know translate to us, and he just does a great job of you know emphasizing of our jobs. You guys, the I don't know how much tackling there'll be, if any, but um, what are you guys looking for out of the scrimmage? How excited you are to to, to get the first scrimmage at camp? From the scrimmage, we just decided to show the coaches what we've been working hard for. Uh, we decided to show the fans or, you know, spectators, you know, what kind of season they're going to get out of us this year. And, yeah, so. Yeah, I don't think a scrimmage is, you know, too different from practice right now. But, you know, it's, it's treated like a game day, but so is every other practice around here. So, I mean, we're just high energy and everyone's excited every day. Drew, Coach Sher talked about how you're a great pass rusher, but a lot of what you're going to be doing is away from the ball. He said that's been a little bit difficult from you or for you. Can you just kind of talk through that? How you're getting getting through that during practice? Yeah, I mean, um, like like we've said before, you know, there's a little little things that translate. You know, I still got a lot to learn and a lot to pick up on, but um, uh, just you know, being able to be on my feet and uh, move around a little bit, I think I, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable each day, but. Um, is, is it a big step from what I uh, was doing from the past few years? Great job, fellas. Thank you. <laughs>